so question number 41 the equivalent resistance between a and b in the circuit and this is very interesting question we'll see if you will concentrate on this wire so you can observe this is a short circuit with an extra wire similarly this wire will make another short circuit and this is another one so overall when you will concentrate carefully and we'll see then all the current will flow through the shorter path between a and b so this is very clear hence resistance between a b will be zero so option number four will be the correct let's move on question number 42 in the question number 42 three identical bulbs are connected in parallel across an ideal source of e a meter a voltmeter b are ideal ideal means v is equal to e right bulb b3 get fused then let the resistance of each bulb is capital r now when all bulbs are on then equivalent resistance kitna hoga r by 3 because all are in parallel then current net emf e resistance r by 3 so you will write 3 e by r okay and this is the relation number one and in the case of ideal you know v is equal to e when bulb b3 get fused then you know very well the equivalent resistance will becomes only r by 2 because b3 fuse ho gaya. then the value of i dash 2 e by r yes because resistance is r by 2 and v is equal to e as i said hence by this calculation here is two times and here is three times hence bulb b3 get fused then reading of a meter will decrease right but that of bolt meter remains same so potential pay fark nahi padega but a meter ka reading kam ho jayega so i can say the option number third reading of a will decrease but that of b will remain same will be the right choice so let's move on question number 43 in the question number 43 a wire of resistance 3 ohm per meter is bent form a regular hexagon of side 2 meter the resistance between points a and shown in the figure series resistance you know r1 plus r2 plus r3 and parallel 1 upon r1 1 upon r2 like that resistance of each side because length of side is 2 meter so if i find the value of resistance 3 into 2 right 6 ohm similarly if i go for r1 r1 means this portion so in this portion you have only two resistance so r1 will be two times of r means 12 ohm because r is equal to 6 another portion 1 2 3 4 so if i represent by r2 so we'll write four times of r means 24 ohm right so this diagram i can make first one and second one the value of r1 is 12 ohm this is my point b and this is my point a the value of r2 is 24 ohm right so final resistance between a b they are in parallel so we'll write 12 into 24 divided by 12 plus 24 so we'll get 8 ohm so in the question number 43 my option number 2 will be the right choice we'll move question number 44 in the question number 44 a group of six identical cells each of emf e internal resistance r is joined in series form a loop the terminal voltage across each cell loop means just like this first resistance second resistance this one how much six one two three four 5 and 6 suppose all cells are having e r e emf resistance r e r okay so if i go for the current i need net emf because they are in series so we'll write 6 e they are in series total resistance by 6 r so i have e by r now terminal voltage across any cell is given by you know very well e minus i r so e is equal to you know the value of i is e by r 
multiplied by r r r cancel and e e will cancel out so you have zero means the terminal voltage across each cell is zero so my option number four will be the right choice so let's move on question number 45 in the question number 45 in the given circuit the switch s is closed at time t equal to zero then select the correct statement for current i in resistance p q okay p and q as shown in the figure because i know the formula for current i is equal to v by r and circuit is given when switch s is closed at time t equal to zero right we have as a short circuit we know jaise hi switch ko close karenge capacitor short circuit ki tarah behave karta hai to us time par if i go for the current i need potential that is 20 and how much the resistance 1 kilo ohm right because capacitor will behave just like a short circuit 1 kilo ohm so you will get 20 milli ampere current but jab switch close ho gaya after a long time capacitor will be fully charged and no current allowed through it then current will follow the path of resistance 1 and 1 means 2 ohm yahan se current flow nahi karega to resistance total kitna hoga 1 and 1 means 2 so in this time current will be means i dash 20 upon 2 kilo ohm so that will give you 10 milli ampere now i am going to read my options i20 all time no i10 all time no and i20 at t equal to 0 yes with time it goes to 10 milli ampere yes so option number third will be the right choice so thank you and we'll meet again